Hi guys. In the last video, we talked about integration procedure, and today we we'll see an example of integration procedure. So I will show you how to use data extractable action and data extract action in the integration procedure to retrieve data from Salesforce. So let's create a new integration procedure. Firstly, in the interface of integration procedure, we have the available component that contain two sections, the group section that contain the list of blocks that can be used to group elements in the integration procedure, and the action section that contain the list of actions that can be called in the integration procedure. The structure section is where the action and the block are dropped and dropped to build the structure of the procedure. And in the property session, we have the detail of, about the configuration or integration procedure. So let's create a new integration procedure and this is the name extract account and contact from Salesforce. Okay, and let's give the type training and the subtype. I will call it IP for integration procedure. Let's save. Now you see we have a new a new panel or a new tab preview is where we test if the integration procedure is configured well. And at the end, we have the both these different buttons that we can delay, create new version, activate the active version, export or save integration procedure configuration. So for today, let's use a data rest, data raptor extra action to retrieve a data of cell phone. If you remember, in the video of data extract, we have created a data extract to retrieve data to cell phones. So we will, here we use that data extract action. Here I will call it find contact. So the first one is to find the list of of contact and the, the data raptor name is find contact and uh, our data uh, raptor has a parameter account name so let's also take in the data raptor the account name as a as a parameter so i can add here account account name I also need to set the response action. The response action contains the configuration of the response returned by the integration procedure. So let's call it response. Now in the response send path, I will add my data raptor, my data raptor extract action, find contact. So let's go to the preview block and add a new parameter account name and let's call it United Oil. So if I click on execute, you note that in the response I have the list of contact returned by the integration by the data data raptor. In the, in the error and debug output, I have the detail about the execution of the integration procedure. For example, here, I can choose only the debug log to see what is on the debug. I can choose the full data JSON to have the full report response written by the integration procedure. Or I can also find only the response written by my data by the data raptor extract. I can also find the, the debug log only for the data raptor extract. So about the debug log, I can filter 
depending on the number of actions that I have in the data in the integration procedure. So this is how I can use the data raptor extra action to retrieve element in from Salesforce. So let's also use a data turbo extra. How here is find account. This is to read account in the in Salesforce. So we use find this integration procedure. We have created this one in the session in the session of data extract tubo data tubo extract so you can look the video now let's also add a parameter account name and also call it account name so if i in the preview block i can execute Note that in the response, I don't have the details uh, about the data raptor extra tubo. But if I come here in the account, you see that I have the result, but the result is not displayed in the session, in the response session. So to add this available in the response session, I can go back to the response and add additional output. And in the additional output, I can add a key. For example, let's call this account. And in the account, I will add the defined account. Where is the name of my integration procedure? And if I return to the preview block and execute, you see that I have a new session called account that contain the detail about the response written by the data extract find account and i also have the detail about the find contact data raptor extract so this is how we can use data raptor extract and data tubo to retrieve data so in the next video i will show you how to use data how to use um, remote action to call apex class in the integration procedure before we start up new script thank you guys and see you in the next video